The first ones to have reached the site were the high mountain gendarmes who know this area very well and the ability to operate in an area and after having flown over it with the ambassador we were able to see how difficult it is to gain access to the zone. We're also using 10 helicopters and a military plane to help the investigation. All these exceptional resources are aimed at providing support for anybody who could have escaped from the crash, although the violence of the shock leaves us with little hope. By drawing on all the scientific and technical police expertise under the aegis of the Marseille prosecutor and the Ding prosecutor, both of them are here, and I'd like to thank them for being here, as well as the way in which they have proactively conducted this investigation. All these resources are being coordinated by the Préfet of the Department under my authority. Additional resources have been allocated to the Alpes de Provence Prefecture by the military area. I will not make any other statements for the time being. This tragic event has just occurred. The investigation must now enable us to determine the circumstances of this tragedy, what caused the crash, and for as long as this investigation has not been completed, we must remain cautious to take into account the huge sorrow of the families of the victims and the truth we owe them, as well as the need for the prosecutors to carry out such legal investigations rigorously. Have you got any questions you'd like to ask me? Do we know who was on board? Well, as far as we know, the passengers were mostly Spanish and German, but work is underway, and that will enable us to determine a precise list of the victims. I'd like to point out, too, that the French Foreign Ministry crisis cell is operating and is working in cooperation with the authorities of the countries affected. And moreover, the Prime Minister, once the news broke, to set up the interministerial crisis cell. It is meeting Place Beauvau, the Ministry of the Interior, and has just been visited by President Hollande, the King of Spain, and the Secretary of State to transport. We have said that the rescue phase was now over, and we've now moved into the legal phase. Well, there are gendarmes as well as emergency services that have been mobilized. Of course, a lot of resources are being used to further the investigation, but I have nothing more to say than what I've already said. Have any survivors been found? Uh, is there any likelihood that survivors could be found? Not so far, but the violence of the shock leaves very little hope. But as you know, in this kind of situation, until the last minute, we do what has to be done to save anybody who could be potentially saved. But once again, I'd like to emphasize there's very, there's very little hope of finding survivors. Yes, we have set up some initial actions with a religious service for those who would like to attend it. I would suggest that we stop there now for the time being. Other members of the government and foreign ministers from other countries will join us and there will be more statements before the end of week, the, the end of evening. I'd like to ask the German ambassador whether 
She has a statement to make. This is a dark day for Germany, Spain and France. We are very grateful of the exceptional resources mobilized by France to help us in this situation. And I'm very grateful as well for the, the, the Minister of the Interior inviting me to attend this press conference. I would like to thank all the rescue services that are helping us in this disaster. Thank you very much.